uh, Mr. Nezzer, what I wanted to ask you was, uh, well, everything is going so well, so uh, couldn't we uh, uh, close up shop just for Easter? What? Close up shop? Do you know what that would mean? Uh, you know when my grandmother started this factory? Oh no, here comes the speech again. 112 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, sir. 113. She was making Easter before you were born. 113 years ago with one chicken and a coop. My grandma started dying eggs for the local Girl Scout troop. She started making money, and as her business grew, she got more hens and colors, and she knew just what to do. She built herself a factory to do what she loved best. She kept on dying Easter eggs, but then you know the rest. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, she... I suppose it was bound to happen. Her age she could not hide. More than a hundred years of living, and then one day she died. But before she drifted off that day, she whispered in my ear Those words I never shall forget, I still hear them loud and clear She said, Ebby? <laughs> she always used to call me Ebby. Ebby, I've taught you the family business. And with my dying breath, I say you tell every single person Easter means no death. Now at first, this all confused me. Till then, I realized that as long as I make Easter eggs, it's like she's still alive. She built herself a factory to do what she loved best. And I'll keep making Easter eggs, my one and only quest. Tomorrow the world will see how I'm gonna make Easter even bigger and better. And Grandma will live forever, just like she wanted. So you see? We can't just stop the factory. That would let Grandma down. But, Abby, uh, Mr. Nezzer, sir, I, uh... <laughs>